Hello rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft locomotive tutorial. Today, we're going to be building this Amtrak P32 ACDM, which is a GE Genesis locomotive. And it's very similar to other Genesis locomotives we've done. The main difference being a radiator up there instead of a fan. And down here, we have the shoes for third rail power pickup, because this train can run off its prime mover or third rail electricity. And this one is in a variation of the phase three paint scheme specifically for the Amtrak Empire service. So let's get into the build. So the first step is to take a dark oak stair for the coupler and we'll get it attached up. Underneath that, we put a dark oak fence gate. Come up here on this locomotive behind it, delete these fence gates and put two dark oak fences on each side of the coupler. Then we'll do the rear plow here. So we're gonna take out polish black stone stairs on the next block down and get five of them coming across to each side of the rails. Above that, a polished black stone block in the middle and two upside down stairs on either side of that. Then we'll do our first set of wheels. So we're gonna come around in front of this we're going to skip one block forward on the bottom and get a netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. In front of that, in the middle, a three by three of polished black stone blocks. In front of that, another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then take polished deep slate stairs upside down here, right side up facing outward here, and upside down facing this way here. Do the same pattern on this side. Then we're going to take out dark oak fence gates here and we're going to open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels down here and also into the ends of the wheels on this side. Then on the second layer up we're going to fill the top middle three in with polished black stone block. and come out right above where those fence gates are. And we're actually going to extend this out by one more block of three polished black stone. In front of that, we're going to take chiseled polished black stone on that second layer, and we're going to make a three by five coming out to each side of the rails. Then swing around under it here and fill the whole bottom of that section with polished black stone slabs. Then coming off the slab layer, we're gonna put three polished black stone slabs in the middle, except we're gonna skip one block forward with it so there's a gap of space. Then we're gonna extend it out above the rail here, another eight blocks long, so that it's nine blocks long in total. And we'll fill this all in three blocks wide here to the other rail. Then, on the top layer, we'll fill in the top middle three with polished black stone blocks. And we bring that one block past the slabs underneath it. Then on each outside edge, we'll put an upside down forward facing polished black stone stair. Come down here and upside down backward facing one right in front of this chiseled polished black stone section. In between the two stairs we just placed, we'll put a full row of black wool. Same thing on this side here, a full row of black wool. Then, underneath this black wool section of the fuel tank, on the third block forward from the back, we're gonna put a line of four polished deep slate walls to be an air tank. Then in front of it, right here, we put an upside down lever going into it. We do the same thing on the other side, so on that third block from the back, four polished deep slate walls, and then a lever going into it here. In front of this, on the top middle, we're gonna make a two by three of polished black stone blocks. Then on the side here, on the back, a brewing stand on each side. Then we'll come underneath it here, and we'll put three polished deep slate walls across the bottom for another air tank. 
then we'll do our next set of wheels. So skip one block forward from this and get a netherite on bottom on each rail with an end rod axle. In front of that, a 3x3 three three, a polished black stone block. And then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we're going to open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here and into the ends of the wheels on this side. Then take a polished deep slate stair, upside down facing this way here, right side up facing outward, and upside down facing this way. Same pattern on this side of the truck. Then we're going to come above it here on the second layer and we'll continue filling the top middle three with polished black stone blocks. And we're going to bring that down right above where these fence gates are. Then on the side of this, we're going to put an upside down, backward facing, polished black stone stair on either side. Then we'll put a row of five polished black stone across the front of this here. Come underneath. And on bottom, on the sides, another upside down polished black stone stair. Same thing on this side here. Then in front of this on bottom, we're going to put five polished black stone stairs coming across. On the second layer, a polished black stone block in the middle and two upside down stairs on either side of that. Then we'll take out a dark oak stair, turn around and get it stacked up to be the coupler here. Delete the one you use for placement, put a dark oak fence gate under it, and also open dark oak fence gates on either side of the coupler. Next, we're going to come on the sides of the truck here, put a hopper in front of each wheel, and then a full line of iron trap doors down the length of the truck on top. Same thing here, hoppers in front of the wheels, and a line of iron trap doors. Then we got to do the other side, so hoppers in front of these wheels, full line of iron trap doors. One more corner to go, hoppers in front of these wheels, a full line of iron trap doors. Then on the sides of the trucks, we're going to put an item frame here and here, and a redstone block in each of those. This is like a power box for the third rail pickup. Do the same thing on all the sides of all the trucks. So item frames here, redstone blocks, and then one more corner to go, item frames here with redstone blocks. Then come underneath the truck here, we're going to put a temporary block here and here so we can put an iron trap door sticking out on the side like that. Delete the temporary blocks. Those are the shoes that pick up power from the third rail. Do the same thing here, so temporary block there and there, and then iron trap doors. Delete the temporary blocks. Then of course we do the other side. So temporary block here and here. Iron trap door sticking out, delete the temporary blocks. One more corner to go. The same thing here, so blocks here and here. Iron trap door sticking out. Delete the temporary blocks, and now we have one of the main differences between the P40s and 42s and the P32. Now we're gonna take out black wool, and we're gonna go all the way around the top outside edge on the third layer with black wool. Then on the inside of this, we're going to fill in the middle three end to end with polished black stone blocks. Then on this third layer, on the edge, we're going to take out a warped button and put one on each side and then a spruce button next to each of those, leaving the middle open. We do the same thing at this end. So a warp button on each corner and then a spruce button, leaving the middle open. Come on the side here, put a crimson button above the brewing stand, skip a block back and another one. Same here. Now come on the very top of the front here, put a blue concrete in the middle. On either side of that, an upside down outward facing dark prismarine stair. 
Behind it, five light gray concrete coming across. Then in the corners, an upside down, inward facing dark prismarine stair on each side like that. Then on each top side, a red nether brick stair and three red concrete across the middle. Behind it here, we're going to come on the side and put a blue concrete on each side. Then we'll extend our light gray concrete on the bottom outside edge all the way to the back of the locomotive. Come across this, put a door in the middle of the back, and then keep coming around the bottom with light gray concrete, and come all the way up this side, and bring it all the way up this side until it meets up on the front. Just like that. Then on the next layer, we'll go all the way around the top outside edge with blue concrete. Then come up front, across the top of this blue concrete, put five black wool. Then we're going to go down each outside edge on each side with red concrete. Leave the middle three on the back open for now and we'll come back up front. On top of the front red concrete here, we're gonna put two light blue stained glass, black wool, two more stained glass. Then a black wool on each side, then two stained glass, skip a block, and another black wool on each side. Then a light gray concrete behind the black wool. Then we'll come up front, and on each side of this red concrete, we're gonna put a glow item frame with glowstone for the ditch lights. Then in the center of the black wool, a glow item frame with glowstone for headlights and a crimson button on each outside edge. On the side where we left this gap of one, we're going to delete a column of four going down the side. Do the same thing here. So delete these three and that black wool. On bottom, we put a right side up polished blackstone stair, two upside down andesite stairs, and then a door. Do the same thing on this side. So a right side up polished blackstone stair, two upside down polished andesite stairs, and then a door. Now come to the back, one block in from the end here, and we're going to delete a column of three on bottom. Put in an upside down polished blackstone stair on bottom, and a door. We'll do the same thing over here. So delete a column of three right here, upside down stair, and a door. Then we'll put two iron bars on each side of this door, and up on this front door, a column of four iron bars on each side. And of course, do the same thing over here. So a column of four iron bars on each side of this door, and a column of two iron bars on each side of this door. Then above this back door, we're gonna put three netherite coming across, and then a three by two of light gray concrete above that. Then we're gonna swing up to the front on the sides here. Right here, we're gonna take out deep slate tile blocks, and we're gonna put three of them on each side. Then, a light gray concrete on each side, then five deep slate tile blocks on each side. Behind that, eight light gray concrete coming back. Then one deep slate tile block, light gray concrete, two deep slate tile blocks on each side, and then fill the rest of it to the back with light gray concrete on both sides. Come down on the side, one block in front of this back door, knock out four of the light gray concrete and replace it with bedrock because there's a vent down there. Same thing on this side, start right here, knock out four, replace that with bedrock. Then we're gonna come up top starting from the back with outward facing polished black stone stairs except everywhere we have deep slate tile underneath it, we're gonna put a deep slate tile stair. So everywhere there's light gray concrete, polished black stone stair, 
and everywhere there's deep slate tile, deep slate tile stairs, just like this. Then we'll bring the polished blackstone all the way up to the front of the windshield here, wrap around the corner and come across the front, come around this corner, and we do the same thing over here. So everywhere there's a deep slate tile, we put deep slate tile stairs, and then polished blackstone stairs for the rest of it. All the way till we get to this rear end. Then we're gonna take out black wool, and we're gonna fill in this top middle three in the middle of this end to end with black wool. Then we're gonna put a white stained glass paint on the side here, and then same thing on this side for rear view mirrors. Come on the front middle between the windows, put a birch sign with the locomotive number, which in this case is 710. Hit that with white dye and a glowing set. Then we'll come down and work on the back end here. So back here, one block above the door in the middle, we're gonna put a glow item frame with glowstone for a headlight. Then a polished blackstone button on each side and a crimson button on each side of the top. Then on each side on the red concrete, a sign with our locomotive number 710. Hit those with white dye and a glowing set. Now come up on the side under this first vent section and delete a column of two under it. And we're gonna go ahead and put a column of two diamond blocks in there. This represents the Amtrak Empire Service logo that's on the side of this locomotive. We do the same thing over here, except I placed it in the wrong spot. Make sure it goes one block behind that so it's symmetrical to the other side. Then, up here in this light gray concrete section, skip two blocks from the back and put four polished black stone buttons. This represents where it says Amtrak. Same thing here. Now we're going to make a banner, so come into a loom with a red banner and blue dye. Make the bottom half blue, switch to white dye, and put a horizontal white stripe in the middle. Then we're going to take that banner come up on the side of the locomotive here, start right here where that black wool is, and come all down this striping. Make sure you leave that Empire Service logo open, and then bring your banners all the way down the striping to the back of the locomotive. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So one here, one on this side of the door, and start bringing it all the way forward up this side. This gives us the white stripe that we couldn't fit in before. Skip the logo, skip the door, and all the way to the front over here. Now we're gonna do all our roof details here. So we're gonna come up on the roof right above the cap. We're gonna put two back-to-back -back levers for an antenna like this, and then skip the middle, same thing on this side. Behind that, same thing in the center with a white candle on each side of the back and a birch button on each side of the front. So that's all the antennas. Behind that, we're gonna skip two blocks back and put a stone button on each side and then skip another block and a stone button on each side like this. Then we're gonna move back aligned with this deep slate tile mat here. We're gonna put two rows of three dark oak trap doors, skip a block and another two rows of three. In the center, open a dark oak fence gate for the horn. Then behind the trap doors, we'll put one stone button in the center. Then we're gonna leave a three block gap of space and we're gonna make a square of polished black stone slabs, knock out the center and put in a smoker for the exhaust. Then a stone button on each side behind it. Then we're gonna skip one block behind the stone buttons here, and we're gonna knock out the middle three. And we're gonna extend that back so it's four blocks long. We're gonna fill that hole with all blast furnaces. You'll have to crouch to place them. This represents the radiator. Behind that in the center, two dark oak trap doors and a flower pot 
behind it on the very back. On each side of the back, a black carpet. This completes the roof line here. Now we'll do the interior, so come on inside here. We're going to take a smooth sandstone slab. We're going to put double slabs across the middle underneath this window. And starting right behind it, start filling in the floor with smooth sandstone slabs. We're going to come one block past where the door is. On the right hand side, smooth sandstone stairs coming down. And then right here, starting on bottom, we're going to make a 2x2 two two of slabs going all the way up to the top. So just fill this all in. Right here, two blast furnaces on bottom, one on the top right, glowstone in the middle, and a door on the left. Then we'll put a stair here and here for chairs, three slabs across this top for the desk, two glow item frames with end crystals, and a lever for the engineer. Down here, we're going to put an end portal in this corner for a toilet, and then above it, we're going to put a torch to light it. Then we can put a door right here, turn this way, and a door right here. Then two columns of slabs going floor to ceiling right here, fill in above this door with slabs, and then above this door with the slabs. Next, we're going to take out wax cut copper stairs, and we need to get three of them upside down facing the wall there three upside down here facing outward, then three right side up here, and three right side up here. Then in the middle of this, a two by two of netherite, and then two netherite on top of each side of it. In front of this, we're going to take wax oxidized copper and make two columns coming up the side. We'll put a torch up in this corner, and then we'll put three levers under it for breakers, then a polished deep slate wall in the middle, two smooth stone glow item frames on the side with end crystals. Now we'll do the prime mover. So on bottom up the middle we're going to run a line of eight sideways anvils. Then above that, eight netherite. Then we're going to go down the side of the netherite here and we're going to put a stone button on the side of each block. We'll do the same thing on this side, stone button on each block on the side of the netherite. Then above that, another row of sideways anvils. Then above that, starting all the way up front, we're going to do five netherite, and then polish deep slate wall down to the end of it. Behind this, two columns of smooth stone blocks going floor to ceiling and a line of buttons up the side of it here and up the side of it here. And actually, behind here we'll knock out the top two. Sorry about that. We're going to put a door on each side of the bottom here and we'll fill in above this door with wax oxidized copper to the roof. Behind this is the head end power unit. So we're going to do four sideways anvils then three smooth stone and one smooth stone on top, two polished deep slate walls here, a column of two brewing stands here, a brewing stand on top up here, and another one, and then polished deep slate wall coming up the top center to the back of the locomotive. And now the interior is done. And there we have it folks. We've completed our Amtrak Empire Service P32 ACDM. I hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.